Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. There are movies that leave an impact in more ways than one. There are movies which makes you think. There are movies which stay with us for a long time. So I recently watched one such movie, Drishyam 2 by Jitu Joseph. I'm sure that most of you must have watched the movie by this time. This is not a movie review. I just want to share with you 10 leadership lessons I learned from the main character, George Guti, acted really well by Mohanlal. Leadership lesson number one. You are only as good as your last game. Doesn't matter how good you were once upon a time. What matters is how you are playing the game now. In the first part of this shim, you know, George Guti did something extraordinary and saved his family. It was easy for him to be proud of his accomplishment and stay there. But he didn't rest on his victory. Instead, he prepared himself for the next battle. It's a great lesson for all of us. Don't live on your past glory. You know, you're only as good as your last game or your last show. As a leader, you have to keep moving, keep learning, keep experimenting. A leader has to reinvent himself every day. Number two, anticipate the future. You know, I teach leadership and sometimes I get this question from my participants. What's the most important leadership attribute one should have? And my answer to this question is this, anticipate the future. You know, leaders are called visionaries because they have a vision of the future. Having a vision is not enough. You have to think strategically and take appropriate action. Now, some leaders anticipate the future but often fail to act on the knowledge. You should know your competition really well. Now, whatever the cops strategized, George Woody always thought one step ahead and he planned things accordingly and most importantly, executed really well. So great leaders anticipate and take actions based on that. Number three, I am there for you. For George Agute, his family was his first priority. You know, he was ready to go to any extent to protect his family. It was like a mission for him. So throughout the movie, he was giving assurance to his family that I am there for you. As a leader, you have to go extra mile to protect your team. Your team member should feel that my leader is there for me, especially during difficult situations. George Woody took 100% responsibility. You'll see this all the time. And it's a great leadership attribute. When things go well, you know, they always give credit to the team. When things go wrong, leader will take 100% accountability, right? Number four, manage conflicts effectively. There's an interesting scene in the, scene in the movie. You know, there's a conflict between the mother and the daughter. So George Woody intervenes and come up with a win-win solution. Wherever there are people, there are conflicts. And as a leader, you have to learn the art of managing conflicts within the team effectively. As a leader, you have to come up with mutually acceptable win-win strategies and solutions. Number five, the power of networking. There's a very common word used in corporate, right? And in business, networking. Networking is not attending different conferences and exchanging business cards or adding people on LinkedIn. Networking is all about building rapport with the right people. And for that, you have to invest your time and effort in building relationships. You, know, you see, in this movie, George Ute's success at the end is only because of his networking skills. And, and he built rapport. He created relationships with key people. He invested time, money, effort, and energy to build relationships. So two things you will notice is like in the movie, to build rapport, you have to be like them. You know, do things which they like, be in sync with the other person. Second thing is, it's always give and take. It's not just taking. We have to support people when they are in need and they will be there for you. To get things done as a leader, you need support from many people. And as a leader, your interpersonal skills are very, very important. Number six, use technology. You know, use technology to your advantage. Be smart with technology to, to save time and, and be productive. George Woody's lot of decisions were data driven in the movie, you know, using the power of technology. He finds time for his other work you know, in his office and in, in his theater uh, you know, using technology so that he doesn't have to be physically present to manage his business. So great leaders embrace technology to be smart and productive. Number seven, 
think out of the box. Now, as we all know, problem solving and decision making is a very important skill for any leader. But that's not enough. As a leader, you have to be creative. Think outside the box. Now, we were like speechless in the last 30 minutes of this movie, right? Because all his strategies were completely out of the box. This is a very important leadership skill in 21st century. Thinking out of the box. Find creative ways to solve a problem. Number eight, find the right mentor. Now, if you read biographies of great leaders, you'll see that almost all leaders had mentors. And they, and they seek advice from experts. You can't be an expert in everything. As a leader, you have to go to the right person, right people for advice. George Goody got so many ideas for his plot from his mentor. You know, so find the right mentor to get the best strategy. Number nine, grace under pressure. This is my favorite leadership lesson. You know, if you watch the first part of the movie, you'll see George Goody under pressure, right? But in the sequel, in the second part, he's smart and more composed. The true test of leadership is how you face tough situations, challenging times how you respond uh, to a difficult situation. As a leader, if you are scared, if you are not emotionally intelligent, it will impact the whole team. So in the movie, George Uti handles his emotions with grace. There is no melodrama, no overreaction. And it's not that he is not experiencing those emotions, but he doesn't express it that in front of his family. You know, great leaders are emotionally intelligent and they display grace under pressure. Number 10, the last one, empathy. In the last five minutes of the movie, George Uti demonstrates you know, high amount of empathy. Again, a very important leadership attribute. Empathy is putting yourself in others' shoes and taking actions based on that. Empathy means being able to understand the needs of others. It means you are aware of their feelings and their thinking. George Uti understood the pain of the other family you know, and he did his best to support them. Great leaders relate and connect with people on a deeper level. So to conclude, the 10 leadership attributes are number one, you are only as good as your last game. So keep playing. Number two, anticipate the future and you know, plan accordingly. Three, be there for your team. Protect your team. You know, come at me. Four, manage internal conflicts within the team. Number five, network well with right people. Six, use technology to your advantage. Seven, think or out of the box. 8. Find right mentors. 9. Demonstrate emotional intelligence. Number 10. Demonstrate empathy. So what I liked about this movie is like it is not those typical movies where they only showcase the physical power of the hero fighting and defeating 10 people at a time, killing the villain, etc. The director did an incredible job in showcasing the personal power of the hero, leadership power of the hero. It also conveys that to be a leader, more than formal education, your worldly knowledge and your people skills, it matters. Leaders are not born, they are self-made. So unleash the leader within you. Thank you so much for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy.